250 square foot of floating wetland island ends up covering an acre's worth of water. So those small plants actually end up having a bigger effect than they look like they, they do. Floating treatment wetlands are something that it's a nature-based solution of using uh, native wetland plants. We basically have a uh, aluminum basket in which we're putting what looks like gravel, um, but it's actually uh, recycled glass, which it's got a lot of uh, tiny holes, which makes it buoyant. Wetlands are often known as nature's uh, kidneys, uh, and that's because they, the roots of wetland plants are, are filters that will basically uh, accumulate the nutrients and store pollutants or nutrients like phosphorus. The idea that maybe um, introducing some aquatic plants, some native plants could pull some more nutrients uh, away from algae populations. It was something that was very interesting to me. Algae necessarily isn't a bad thing, but the thing that we're concerned with is cyanobacteria. But those can release toxins, also some taste and odor compounds. Taste and odor is a little uh, more of an onset issue during the summer, so this would be something that we could hopefully in the future use to directly combat those, those issues. Oftentimes you think about conservation, you think about kind of out there and not in the city. And this is an opportunity to have a nature-based solution of really integrating the natural world with our, our built environment. They'll have a full growing season. They'll be able to, over the winter, seed. And hopefully we see these, these native plants spread to maybe the banks. And we have this cycle of continual growth outside of just the island. That's, that's the hope, that's the, that's the plan. And we'll just, time will tell. Clean water is really important for, for all of us. There's not a silver bullet approach essentially to clean water. And so this is just another tool in the, in the conservation toolbox.